Okay, cool. Thank you. Where are you guys originally from? Um, like, to be honest, from many places. Like, I was born in Cuba, but I've lived here my whole life. Oh, really? Yeah, and my mom and dad were also born and raised here. But originally, my mom's from England, and my dad's American. He's like Zoom. Okay, because I'm like, you don't have an accent when you speak English. Yeah. Um, also, if you want, there's like, Stella, you are so cute. You are so cute, Stella. Hi, Stella. <laughs> um, also, the laundry room, it's there's a door there and there's stairs downstairs and it's right there. Okay, thank you. So guys, I did arrive like two hours before check-in, so she's getting the room ready because she did have guests here previously that she said just left like a half an hour ago. Thankfully, she said that I could chill here the pool and the living room wherever it's mad hot compared to guatemala it is super hot it's literally 94 degrees can you see that the high when i was in guatemala was like 84 it's a bus pass the only thing is this i don't know how much money it has on it okay but you need this for the public transportation and there's a bus right out there if it doesn't have money on it it's only 35 cents okay and somebody will help you okay. especially somebody will help you <laughs> Um, do, do I put money, how do I put money on it? All there's the machines and stuff. Once okay. you get to the terminal, there's machines. Okay. You can put like $5 or $3 okay, or whatever cool. on it. Okay. And then um, this is the same card you use for the metro and for the bus. I'm sorry, I can't tell you how much is on No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. The air conditioner remote is here. Just like if you're not in the room, if you could turn it yeah, off. Yeah, sure, sure. Like electricity is like super expensive here. Um, this is the bathroom. It's a shared bathroom, so don't forget to lock it. No problem. Unless you want a teenager working. <laughs> All right, so this is your bathroom. Okay. Um, it's very basic. And there's some towels there. Don't leave your towels in there because they might get used. Okay. Um, so I do have like a robe that you can use to go to the bathroom, but I just noticed it has, um, I guess a housekeeper put those downy balls in, which I actually didn't buy the downy balls for the laundry because I don't think they're very good for the washing machine. Um, and it seems like it didn't, like it, it didn't, um, like she put it in and it didn't like wash. dissolve it just got, yeah it does dissolve exactly okay so and then because i'm like and it smells like it's the mm. like one of those balls so uh, if you want it i'll wash it again and okay then, uh, then you can use this usually i have it it's clean behind the door but she didn't know no worries that. no worries um yeah, I don't know if you need anything else. Are you okay? No, I'm good for right now. Thank you, you so much. Okay, you're I welcome. really appreciate you. And then I'm going to take a shower and mm -hmm. then we're going to go to the Multi Plaza because okay. I need to go to the Copa kiosk at the Multi Plaza. So if you want to go to the Multi Plaza or if you want to go to Casco, I can drop you off on the way or the Santa Costera or if you just want to sleep, whatever you want. But just so you know, like in half an hour, we're going to the Multi Plaza, which is a big shopping mall. Okay, I'm going to chill for now because I have okay. two things to do today. Okay. So, All right, um, well, yeah. just make yourself at home. Thank like, you so make much. Make yourself at home, Thank okay? you so much. If you need anything in the kitchen, just sort of look. There's a girl, Judith, who's from Hungary, and she's living down, she, well, she's in the Airbnb downstairs, downstairs. So okay. if you see like a blonde, longish hair girl with glasses, that's okay. who that is. Um, and seriously, like just if you want to use a pool, there's pool towels in there or okay. go hang out there. You can. The Internet's not mm, so great on the Bohio, but make okay. yourself at home. Thank if you. If you have any questions, just 
write me, okay? Thank you so All much. Right, I'm right here, so okay. if you ever just knock on my door. I am officially in Panama. I don't know what about this air in Panama, but I already feel way better than I did in Guatemala. So hopefully, cross fingers, cross fingers, I feel even more better as, you know, the hours progress, especially because I have two things to do today. So real quick, a little room tour. So this is the door. This will focus. Then we have the room so on the side here we have like the wi-fi password we have a little dresser with the mirror which i'm happy about because i did not see any pictures of a mirror on the airbnb photos so i'm glad they had that and we have a bed and then over here we have a little what do you call this um desk computer desk table and this is so cute like she was telling me the keys, air conditioner. I'm gonna turn this off right now because I don't need it. Books. And then the window out here. From the window, I can see the pool and the rest of the backyard. And then she said in here is a closet. Okay, okay, okay. With some more pillows, towels, beach towels linens i also have more towels right here this is super cute i even have a makeup towel like what she also has some shampoo conditioner body wash for me some other towels some snacks now this is so cute i never had any airbnb give me makeup wipes that is crazy shirts makeup wipes what are these two picks oh this is so cute Tissues, I definitely need this because y'all know I'm sick. Oh my god, a lip mask? Oh my gosh, she did that. Okay, hey guys, so it's 3.45 and I just woke up from like an hour nap. Just got out the shower and got dressed. Right now, I'm about to do my makeup because I have two things already planned for today. First thing I have planned is this Afro-Panamanian uh, like cooking experience. That starts at 4.30. Luckily, I'm only like 15 minutes away and the uber from the airbnb to there is only like six dollars so that's great then at 8 p.m tonight i'm doing this bar crawl which pretty much is this experience that i booked on airbnb where i'm gonna be hopping different bars and they just messaged me and asked what drinks i want and they gave me like six different options and i chose um vodka cranberry and then one tequila shot but yeah that's supposed to go on until like one so yeah i'm excited but let me hurry up and do my makeup because i literally have like 30 minutes to do my makeup i want to apologize from right now if like y'all could barely hear me or like i'm talking really low i'm trying my best to project my voice but it also hurts <laughs> but i'm excited okay guys so i'm running late for the cooking class i was supposed to be at 4 30 right now it's 4 35 and i'm 15 minutes away it's not my fault y'all for one my makeup sponge was acting horrible. Like literally, it was not applying my makeup right. I was having so much trouble doing my makeup. But since I have to wait five minutes for the Uber, I'm just eating these grapes. I'm so tired, y'all. Mommy, you locked me out. Senegal and a lot of African countries 
a lot of African countries, there's a handsome man there for single ladies. Yeah. A lot of West African countries took in the recipe and they made their own fashion. So the fashion of Jollof rice we're making today is Ghanaian fashion. Okay. okay. So what my brother and sisters did so far, they prepared these veggies. As you can see the veggies, they just cut big chunks, put over there. And we were about to season the veggies before we put it into the oven to bake. After baking our veggies, we are going to blend the veggies with beef broth. When I do my cooking classes, I avoid having raw meat on the kitchen counter as I told the rest, because I don't want anybody getting sick. Cross contamination is real, especially when you have several hands handling raw meat and stuff. Another thing I always recommend people back at home, you should have two types of chocolate balls. Okay? You should have a wooden one and a plastic one or whatever material you want to have. Even a hard one if you want to have a hard chocolate ball. The reason is because uh, when it comes to raw meat, never use wooden chocolate balls. Wooden chocolate balls, they have a tendency of sucking the juice of right. the raw meat. Okay, so that raw meat can wait and start, uh, bacteria can start growing on your wooden chocolate balls. So you can end up having salmonella or intoxication. So we're going to start with the oil, beautiful people. I'm kind of heavy handed. Oh, oh you, you're wish handed? I'm heavy handed. Like, I don't want to pour too much. Oh, don't worry. You know, in an Afro kitchen, you cook by feel touch and <laughs> listening to the ancestors. Okay. So, look, the recipes, I'm going to send you recipes of everything you're doing. Okay. So, back at home, you can do practice and stuff. You can get going. I'll let you know when to stop. Make sure the garlic get the oil on top. All the garlics we have. Okay. Okay, you're very generous. Keep going. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> nice. thank you so much. That's good enough. Uh, let me move it closer to you. Okay. And we're gonna sprinkle some salt, some fine sea salt. You have a YouTube channel? I do. Oh, okay. I do. we got two YouTubers in the house. Okay. Right? <laughs> Tell so, me when to stop. Okay, I'll let you know when to stop. Keep going. Look, it's a lot of veggies, and we're gonna cook rice with it. So don't worry. A little bit more. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. And we need some pepper salt. Be careful with the mm -hmm. sniffing. So you don't, mm -hmm. if you sniff it and it goes on your nose, you sniff it. You sniff it. Who cooks between the two of you at home? Pretty bad. Oh, yeah, I mean, no. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm, I'm aiming to 300. <laughs> We're gonna make 300. Is this the big serving or is it just how much do you use? I know, so for example, if I have, we're gonna be nine people total at the end of the day. Oh, oh wow. Yes, nine people total. So I use uh, 300 ml okay. of mayo and we're gonna use uh, six cloves of garlic. So the garlic at the end, garlic at the end, only the other veggies, the tomatoes, peppers, going in now. Look, beautiful people, there's a lot of flavor in here. The veggies have been baked. They have acquired a different type of flavor. It's different when you just use the raw veggies, blend it down with the broth and cook it. This veggies is gonna, is gonna give our jollof fries a very, very interesting, uh, smoky and kind of strong flavor. Add in your broth, give it a shake. Give it a shake a little bit. Why do you have to shake it? Because it was just settling over there, so all the ingredients went to the bottom. Right. So shake it all. If you can't shake it, the other thing I recommend, with a spoon, give it a stir. So when you give it a stir, the ingredients at the bottom, they come on top as well. How long has that been cooking for? This has been boiling for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Normally I boil it between 45 to 1 hour. So this is a mix of short ribs and rib mm -hmm. So I blend, I mix the two together when I make a broth because of the flavors. When you blend, when you put the short ribs and rib eye together, you have a very nice uh, fusion of flavors. Before you put this to boil, to, to, to blend, we're going to add in extra paprika. Remember, with the jollof fries, paprika is one of the main ingredients. You know, a beautiful blend over here. Look at that. So this is where we're going to rinse our rice and add our rice in here. This is rice in here. Whatever you see, imagine that's rice. So what you do, you put your finger, I'm not going to put my finger in there guys, I don't want you guys to say, oh, <laughs> the review, this guy was fingering out rice, no, we don't want that guy, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to explain this way, but I'm not going to touch it, put your finger in there until you touch the surface, okay, don't, not all the way down to the bottom of the pot, only the surface, and when you add your water to your rice, 
make sure your water level is slightly above the first line. You'll be amazed how the rice comes out. So yeah. we came to Panama, the restrictions were still on. Mm -hmm. You had to wear a mask even in the streets. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's and, too hard over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and there was when the COVID just started, when the middle of COVID, they had a very interesting law here. The uh, women can go out on a specific day and only men can go out on a specific day. So that was crazy, right? So you can go out with your husband, so he goes out alone and people are alone. Uh, I guess it was good for some people, you know. But so if you're a single person and oh, yeah, yeah. you, you want to meet people, it was not fun. I guess for my uh, brothers and sisters in the, in the LGBTQ community, of course, they were, they were good, you know. Yeah. 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 With your fingers? Oh, my fingers. Yeah. You don't have a ring? Okay, so. I do need to go. take it off. Yes, yes, please. So this is how traditional empanadas are made. Okay, the modern ones are easier. So then there, you got your nice empanada. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, you guys did a great job. Okay, Good. since 4.30 you've been working so hard, uh, tirelessly, consistently, with a lot of patience. <laughs> so the last thing they made was empanadas and I'm telling you it was not easy. Yeah. She walked in and they were doing it and they, they were really feeling it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they did a great job. So thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And for the rest of the group, uh, beautiful family. I'm a beautiful sister over there. Thank you so much for joining us as well. Uh, we're soon going to start eating. I'm just working on the empanadas. I'm going to bring them out freshly done. So you guys can enjoy them with two delicious dips that this amazing group did. We have an aioli dip and a spicy mango dip that they did as well. This soup is typical here in Panama when you go to Colón. Okay, so basically it's a very very typical soup here and I would love for you guys to try it. Do you know any Spanish? Uh, not before I came here this week for four years all throughout school. And everybody there was from Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru. We played different games, like they had us play bingo and they had to like say the word. Mm -hmm. It's very interactive. What do you learn? I'm Dominican. And then they take you to the market, hung out there, and yeah. talk to the people in the class. What I'm saying in Spanish, they say, what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I speak a little bit of French. I'm trying to learn some more languages though. I want to learn Portuguese because it's pretty similar to Spanish. So, I, we were supposed to be in Portugal right now. Really? Yeah. And so I bought this um, learn Portuguese thing and I'm listening to it for a
guys so it's literally the next night and i just got some ramen delivered i literally been in bed all day that's why you guys haven't heard from me so like i was saying i literally was in bed all day um you guys didn't miss anything i literally was in my bed all day i didn't eat anything but grapes and two tangerines and water just because i did not have an appetite i kept looking on uber each trying to see if i could order something but everything was just making my stomach turn it's now 11 08 and Jinbei was like i need to eat something i decided to order some ramen from this japanese spot it does look good but hopefully i can keep it down and it doesn't make me feel sick i'm gonna try to eat this right now and then i'm getting right back into the bed i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'll see y'all in the morning guys so good morning it is now monday i've been in panama for two whole day now two whole days now i know it doesn't seem like it because i have not really been vlogging but like i said last night literally yesterday all i did was stay right there and in that bed all day like that's literally all i did i'm recovering from a cold that i got well i didn't i don't i didn't get it in guatemala but that's when i like got really really sick when i was in guatemala so i'm still recovering but today i feel really really better you know what's crazy so i bought that ramen it was really good but like i said i had no appetite so i took like five bites and didn't finish it and then i left it right there because i did not feel like going downstairs to put in the um refrigerator and now it's spoiled because I just warmed it up to eat it out and it's it's dead. I'm so mad. Cause it was good ramen. I just didn't feel like eating. Like I had no appetite. My heart hurts. That ramen was so good. And, and if anybody knows me, everybody knows I love soup. Like especially authentic ramen. Oh my god. Like it was good. I just did not have the appetite to eat. Right now, I'm about to order something. Cause now I am hungry. I think I'm gonna order like a smoothie and i don't know maybe i could order like some brunch or something i'm so mad about that ramen y'all and i had to google it because i'm like it would i mean you know some stuff you could leave out and it'll still be good but I said that fresh ramen you literally have to put it in the refrigerator within two hours or it's gonna go bad so yeah wasted 20 dollars for nothing but it's okay we we're not gonna complain about 20 dollars. it's a beautiful day again after i order some food I'm gonna start doing my makeup so I can take some pictures today. Today is just gonna be a picture day. Tomorrow I am going to be visiting the um, Monkey Island um, where you could like feed monkeys on the Panama Canal. And then Wednesday, my last day here, I already, I literally just booked um, to go visit Boin, Boin Panama which is literally like this place where you can um, do zip lining. You, how would you say it? Like you go like on the edge. I think they call it like over the edge. And then you kind of like lean back on the edge. And then also you do like this swing over like the city. There's four things. I think the last thing is like, you're just like walking on glass, but you're like on the 32nd floor. So, I mean, that stuff is not scary to me. Some people would think that's scary, but I feel like I'm just gonna, you know, eat that because that's what i do i actually didn't know about that when i first came here but um jt the one you guys met my first day here well, i met her first at the cooking class and then it just so happened coincidentally that her and her friend was also doing the same bar crawl as me yeah she's the one that told me all about pulling panama and i'm like mm, i should do that i might as well just add that to the list she was also telling me about this photographer that she hired for like 150 to take pictures and i was gonna do that but then i was like I mean, I'll be taking my own pictures for free and they'd be cute. So I actually would do that because obviously the photographer, she knows like different places in the city to take pictures that are, you know, nice and look good. But I don't have time, honestly. Like I literally only have two more days before I leave. I wasted a whole day yesterday. I'm not going to say wasted, but I really did need that time to just recuperate and relax. So I am glad that I did that. But yeah, today is really giving just relax again, but just get some content done and get some pictures. So that way tomorrow and Wednesday, I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to throw away this ramen. <laughs> I want to cry. And I'm about to see what they have on Uber Eats. I'm sorry that I keep Uber eating stuff, but it's like, I'm not in the mood to go nowhere. Okay, guys. So, 
I am at the pool right now. Um, I actually have to go inside real quick to go take off these bands that I got while I was in El Salvador so they won't be in my picture. But it's so hot, like it's super hot. The weather right now is 90 three degrees. Oh my god, oh my god. It's so hot out. Hopefully I can get pictures within the hour because this heat is something crazy, y'all. It's something crazy. But this is my outfit. This is my outfit. This little bikini set. I had this white blouse on, which I don't need because it's hot as hell. And this bag that perfectly matches it. But yeah, y'all. Um, let me run inside real quick to go get a knife and cut this. Yeah, I'll be back. And this is another look at the backyard. This is the pool. And it's literally like a jungle out here. It's crazy. It's really pretty though. Guys, I'm so pissed off. So basically, remember when I told you I was going to order some food earlier? I ended up ordering Starbucks. That's really the only thing that I saw that I knew that I would possibly be able to eat which is the only reason why i ordered it y'all know when i go to a different country i like to try their traditional dishes and stuff like that but the way my stomach is set up i wasn't even trying to test it out and do that so i'm like let me just get starbucks like the safest safest option so i ordered starbucks this morning mind you right now it's 12 43 okay let me go to my uber app because I'm so, I'm so aggravated, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm so aggravated. And coming from yesterday, having no appetite to right now being mad hungry. Yeah, I'm very aggravated. 10.30, I ordered a butter croissant, a cup of fruit, a, uh, tur <coughs> a turkey and cheese croissant, and a um, hibiscus tea lemonade right i don't know if you ever ordered on uber eats but sometimes they give you the option like if something's close by you could add it to your order for like free like i mean not free you have to pay for the items but you don't have to pay for the delivery the same person who's going to get your first order would get your second order and it'll just be you know you'll get them both together so i ended up ordering something from this food store and what i originally ordered was one mandarin orange a cup of fresh pineapples cut and a fruit salad and two uh two cup of noodles i don't know if you guys can see it um i asked for nothing to be replaced meaning if they didn't have something just refund me because i strictly wanted what i asked for i didn't want nothing else i don't know how but the store changed the fruit salad into a pear I don't know how they did that i don't want no damn pear i don't eat pears are you crazy and then the mandarin orange and the and i don't know if you guys can see that the mandarin orange and the the pineapple wasn't available so i ended up just getting a pear and then one cup of noodles even though i ordered two because i only had one available um i didn't want a pear i wanted a fruit salad okay so i literally had to contact them about that so i could get my little refund even though the pear is only 60 cents but i didn't ask for a pear i wanted a fruit salad not a pear if i wanted something to be replaced i would have said i wanted it to be replaced i don't know how they changed it like that but literally i had proof that what i originally ordered was a fruit salad and they changed it to a pear okay basically with that first order i didn't even get the starbucks because they end up canceling uber ends up canceling that order and only bringing me the one cup of noodles and the pear so i'm like that's not sliding i like now i'm really in the mood for a butter croissant like i need it now so i reordered the same order that i got and what do you know i got a notification about 10 minutes ago saying that my order was complete how is it complete i didn't even get the order i didn't get no message from the person saying that they were here i didn't even get the message saying that they picked it up the last notification i got was saying that he was on his way to pick it up i didn't get no notification saying that he was picking he picked it up already but at 12 32 i got a notification talking about my order is complete so i went over there 
um, to the front of the house to see if maybe they dropped it off over there. Uh, no, they didn't. So, of course, I contacted Uber and they just gave me a credit for it. But now I'm aggravated because I'm going to try a third and final time, maybe three times a charm, to order this again. Hopefully, I can get it this time because I, I'm not understanding. Like, what's, what's so hard about this Starbucks that I can't get it? And I'm aggravated now because I couldn't eat I couldn't eat my original ramen that I ordered yesterday because that went bad. I don't want the pizza or the other food that I got from Guatemala that I have in the refrigerator. I don't want that. Honestly, I really just want this butter roll. I really just do. I mean butter croissant. So I'm gonna attempt again to order it. And hopefully this time it'll come. And it's talking about some 30 to 45 minute delivery. I've been waiting for like five hours now for the same order. So annoying y'all it's so hot i don't even feel like um taking pictures right now but i have to so <sighs> all right once again i just attempted again the same damn order Guy guys wish me luck oh, can i can, please w please pray that i get this order please i just want my order i want my fruit salad i want my butter croissant like that's all i want it's not the first time i'll order something here nobody else has problems for some reason all i've been wanting is like american food for example chipotle i wanted a bacon egg and cheese bad this morning i was looking everywhere and nobody had a bacon egg and cheese the closest thing i saw was like a cheese melt with bacon but it had no eggs and i really really wanted a bacon egg and cheese like I've never been like this. Anytime I'm out the country, I always want to try. I don't eat American food. I only want, you know, traditional food from that country. But, yeah, I can't right now. Right now, I got to listen to my, my stomach because I'm not trying to be sick. So, <sighs> cross fingers that I get my food. If I do, that's probably going to be the next time you guys see me with my food. Hopefully, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. And then, I just got the confirmation from the... Uh, what do you call it the monkey finally yeah they need to give me a pen i don't know why they didn't do that in guatemala everything like literally every uber ride i took everything i ordered from uber eats required a pen which is smart um i don't know why they wasn't doing that here but yeah let's stick to this because i did not get that last order so i don't i don't even mind not saying Oh yeah, so I just was talking to the host from the Monkey Island tour thing that I booked for tomorrow. He said he should be picking me up tomorrow around 8 a.m. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing makeup, y'all. It's too hot for makeup. It's gonna be too early too. But I'm trying to get some pictures. I just don't, it's so hot. I don't even wanna move. That's how hot it is, y'all. It's so hot. But yeah, I will be back later okay guys it only took 10 hours but i finally got my starbucks order i just hope it's the right order and not only that i almost had trouble this third time getting it too because um it was taking a long time once again and hold on is it blurry there we go yeah so i almost had trouble trying to get it this third time too it was taking my long again and then the courier hit me up he's, and he's like oh uh starbucks said that you already got this order how the f i already got the order how how would i have already got the order and you're there to pick it up like that doesn't even make sense i didn't say all that i'm just like no i didn't get the order i had to reorder it because the other one i didn't get and he's like okay i'll let them know so finally they started making it again because i guess they didn't make it because they're like we already made this order for her um but yeah anyway i hope this is the right stuff let's see i don't know why i got two bags i would have loved for it to be that they gave me my first order like again let's see what we got oh finally finally i should sit y'all over here actually let's see how this tastes This is good. This is my first time getting a hibiscus shaken lemonade. Normally I get a passion fruit a passion fruit lemonade, but because I got the combo meal, it didn't come like it didn't give me the option to choose that one. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just try this one. And this one is not bad. I am fiending for this butter roll. 
I don't really care about the, the turkey and cheese, to be honest. I just, I keep saying butter roll, butter croissant. I'm really just waiting for the croissant and the fruit. I'm about to watch some YouTube. Um, let me get close to y'all. I actually didn't get any pictures that whole time I was outside, and that's because I didn't even try to. It was too mother not to be trying to take pictures. I did not know how hot it was going to be in Panama. Like, it's mad hot. Like, even sitting outside that whole time, I literally was only sitting out there because... I could not move. Like I didn't have energy to move because I didn't eat. <laughs> but now that I have my food, that was the energy I needed. And I'm like, I was gonna eat outside because I feel like once I eat, I might have like more energy to like try to get some pictures taken. I'm like, look, let me go inside, enjoy the AC, enjoy my food with some AC, watching some YouTube because it's 95 degrees outside, but it feels like it's over 100. I'm in. Let me stop chatting, y'all, though. I'm gonna finish eating my food. I'm gonna eat my food. Look at my fruit, y'all. It looks so good. So good. And I'll talk to y'all a little later. Okay, guys. So it is currently 6.25. And since the last time I spoke to you guys, I went to sleep. <laughs> Look, I promise y'all I'm not pregnant, okay? I know for a fact I'm not pregnant, but... Don't ask me why I fell asleep. I don't know why I was tired, especially because I, well, I didn't sleep all day. I was up yesterday from 9, 9.30 in the morning. I stayed up all day, but I was just in bed all day. I'm about to make this soup right here that I bought earlier. I feel like this vlog is so boring, but y'all, y'all gotta understand how sick I feel. Like, being on vacation and being sick is not the week. Like, literally, this is my first time. No, that's not true. I was actually sick when I went to Jamaica. I got sick out there. It wasn't this bad. I may not be the tell, but I'm telling y'all, I'm fighting through it. Uh, only visitor center by the Panama Canal. This is the Lux. So actually, three Lux exist. One is Mira Flores, another one Pedro Miguel, and the third. So we are currently in, I think it's called Gondola. And this is where we're gonna be starting the tour for Mogi Island. Jeffrey Tamari monkeys. Come, little girl, come. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That'll be 1095. Okay, I got you. I'll go. So that's the one that the birds eat, right? Yeah. No, did you have Jeffrey Tamari? So These kind of monkeys living in Panama and the north part of Costa Rica. No, north part of Colombia, sorry. Mm -hmm. Guys, did you enjoy so that? Cute. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going to try. White face capuchin monkeys. Oh. Uh, Hangover movie, Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. oh my god. Like a top model. <laughs> He's coming. Just be silent, okay? And don't touch the monkey. Oh, they are jealous. They are jealous. Oh, they you can, you can, you can. <laughs> the first monkey who came to the boat, this monkey name is Peluche. Peluche is the alpha. She is a female. The difference, the male between the females, the females has the four brown face. No more coming. <laughs> Where is my brain? <laughs> 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 so, okay. we're only coming about seafood. Banana, here! Come! 
We have bananas here, so many. <laughs> uh, we are very picky. Sometimes bananas, sometimes grapes, sometimes mango. Maybe they are full now. Oh! Oh! I bring food the same portion as it's already. Mm. Maybe yeah. because it's morning or yeah. because Maybe. because of of the life, you know, this is the wild life. These monkeys are wild monkeys. We can expect, Maybe. you know, sometimes they are not coming at all. Really? Even when they see the boat, they don't I, come. Last week I had two tools. We didn't see even one monkey. Oh, wow. really? These three species of monkeys living here, the howlers, the white-faced capuchin and the Jeffrey tamarins. He's, uh, he's very calm I now, I think that. after breakfast. <laughs> he's not going to attack down. us, huh? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can go. never know. <laughs> he's not going to jump no, to the boat. No, no, no. What do crocodiles eat besides people? Uh, they, <laughs> they're eating meat, no. they're meat eating fishes, they're, fish. they're eating everything. Oh. What is lizards, oh. iguanas. Iguanas? Yeah. Oh, yes. I just saw an iguana go up, he was escaping. Yeah, wow. he was lucky, lucky iguana. They died and they... Right. And don't touch the monkey, okay? These are short nosed bats. They are very important in the ecosystem because they are eating a lot of things. And the reason why they are in line because they protect each other. Dilos. Dilos. We have a baby crocodile. Oh, wow. Wow. If somebody wants to touch it, it's very, very, very soft. Uh -huh. very, very soft. Oh, okay, I'll touch it. <laughs> you can hold it if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just catch it, don't run away. It's like this. It doesn't bite though, right? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Wow. wow. You're both so brave. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you want to touch it? Yes. Yes, touch. Why not? Beauty, beauty, beauty. Thank you so much for joining. Thank, Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. It's very nice. Yes. It can't bite you. It's like that. Oh, Don't move. Don't move. Put it in. y'all so i am back home from the tour and it's literally 1202 like i still have the whole day ahead of me so these are the snacks that um they gave us which is really nice um it did say it came with snacks and he did give a water bottle okay guys so i'm fake upset because i just waited a whole hour because the water was working and i was figuring like okay it'll come on eventually in like five minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes finished at 3 43 taking pictures so i'm like all right i'm gonna come in take a shower so i can just head right out and go to the mall the water was not working so i'm like all right let me wait still not working at 507 and i don't have time to wait no more because the mall closes at eight and it's a huge mall and today is my well tomorrow is my last day but i don't think i'm gonna have time to go to the mall tomorrow so i gotta go today so anyway i'm about to order my uber to the mall and while i'm there i'm gonna get something to eat because i am hungry the uber is only like three dollars oh now it's two dollars maybe maybe it was worth the wait no it still wasn't hello 
hello. Wait, let me show y'all my outfit real quick. This is the same outfit I wore, I wore earlier. Short set, white top, orange bag to go with the... I have my breakfast. Yes, Starbucks again. Don't judge me. And now I'm about to go inside and eat and take a shower. I just run it up before I go. Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Checkout is supposed to be at 1, but I did ask Kim, the host, if I could stay a little, um, look at this fruit, y'all. I love this fruit. Ugh. So sexy. I love fruit so bad. Fruit and water. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, my camera's both off. Hold on, y'all. Fully charged battery, and I'm back. Okay. Checkout is at 1, but I asked Kim if I could stay a little later just because my flight isn't until 6.30 and <clears throat> if i leave at one i'm gonna get to the airport at like 1 30 1 45 that's like five hours before my flight i'm pretty sure i cannot check in um my bag that early and who wants to just be sitting at the front of the airport for all those hours not me so she said it's okay um originally i had asked her if i could just sit in the living room but she said nobody's checking in today so i can stay in my room which is amazing because i can enjoy this ac so yeah i'm gonna leave here around like probably like 2 45 3 o'clock um in the meantime i'm just gonna finish packing i'm pretty much done but i'm gonna eat my croissant finish my fruit drink some water charge my phone and just chill out until I have to leave. That's pretty much it for my Panama vlog because I am leaving today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda happy to go home. I've been away from home for now over a week. I did four days in Guatemala, five days in Panama, and uh, 
I'm exhausted. All right, I'm ready to get back home to New York. Next clip is probably gonna be me on my way to the airport. So, yeah. Thank you. 